Let's take a look at how to move a mailbox to a new database in Exchange using PowerShell. So the first thing is you either need to be working inside of the Exchange management shell or have an Exchange PowerShell session open. So in this case, I have an Exchange PowerShell session open. And if you're not sure how to do that, check out the snip on how to open an Exchange PowerShell session. So the first thing is we'll need to determine what database a mailbox is in currently. So we need to look at the database property of the mailbox. So we'll use the get mailbox commandlet and pipe it to the select object commandlet and specify the database property. So we can see this user is actually still in one of the default mailboxes created by Exchange and, and it hasn't been moved to one of our managed databases yet. So to move it, we'll use the new move request commandlet because what we're doing is we're actually making what Exchange calls a move request. So we're requesting that Exchange moves it and telling it what database to move it to. So we'll create that using the new move request commandlet. And there you go, you can see this mailbox isn't actually very big, so it shouldn't take very long. Uh, but since we do have this move request, we can actually look at the status by using the get move request commandlet and specifying the name of the mailbox. And we can see that it's actually already been completed. So it has a couple of statuses in between waiting for job pickup. And if you've got a big mailbox, it will typically be sitting inside of the in progress status. And another thing to mention is if we just run get move request without any parameters, like I will do here, it will actually show you all the existing move requests you have, even ones that are in the completed state. So if you want to be able to move that mailbox again, that mailbox can't have any existing move requests. So we'll need to use the remove move request commandlet and give it the name of the mailbox and then using the confirm false flag. And it's a good habit to do that for every mailbox you move uh, once you're done. And then we'll of course verify that that mailbox, it made it to uh, its new database. So that's how you move a mailbox to a new database in Exchange using PowerShell.